On a sunny afternoon early 1 July, we begin with a scene one meter wide, which we view from just one meter away. Now every two seconds we will look from ten times farther away and our field of view will be ten times wider. Ten to the sixth, a one with six zeros, a million meters, the Earth appears as a solid sphere. A near-Earth asteroid, one million kilometers from the planet, the orbital paths of the neighboring inner planets, Mars, Venus, going to the massive outer planets such as Saturn and Jupiter, swinging wide in their big orbits. Here, the icy blue of Neptune, 10 to the 14th power, as the solar system shrinks to one bright point in the distance, our sun. Clouds of gas surround us as we traverse the Milky Way galaxy. Groups of galaxies bring a new level of structure to the scene. Glowing points are no longer single stars, but whole galaxies of stars seen as one. We start to see superclusters. Then the cosmic web of galaxies becomes apparent until further still, we see the end of the known universe. Here we slow and then stop at the outer reaches of uniform space before reversing and returning to our point of departure now three times as fast. 10 to the ninth meters. 10 to the eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. We are back at our starting point. We slow up at one meter. In a few seconds, we enter through the eye into a tiny blood vessel within, the capillary containing red blood cells. We enter the white cell among its vital organelles. The porous wall of the cell nucleus appears. The nucleus within holds the heredity of the woman in the coils of DNA. As we get closer in, we come to the double helix itself, a molecule like a long twisted ladder. We focus on one commonplace group of atoms, one molecule of DNA, zooming in on a single oxygen atom. Electrons make up the outer shell of the oxygen atom itself. They appear in quantum motion as a swarm of shimmering points at 10 to the minus 10 meters. At last, the nucleus so massive and so small, made up of protons and neutrons, as a single proton fills our scene, we venture inside, reaching the edge of present understanding with subatomic quarks and other particles not yet fully understood. Our journey has taken us through 40 powers of 10, or 1 in 40 zeros.